Myanmar, which is one of the underdeveloped telecommunication markets in Asia, lags behind its neighbors in Southeast Asia. Only few people have access to fixed telephone lines here. Since the first internet connections were established in 2000, internet services in Myanmar still remain slow and unstable. Faults due to construction work causes frequent connection failure and are often not repaired. However, the situation has now changed as many people here are getting affordable mobile services as Myanmar Post and Telecommunications joined hands with two foreign firms, Kutas Orido and Norway's Telenor to build up the country's cellular infrastructure last year. In 2012, only 2.5% of the population had access to mobile, but now the SIM cards are easily available at a reasonable price. Following liberalization, Myanmar's telecommunications service market is widely opening. Over the next year, the government plans to provide a license to the internet fixed line providers. Japanese leading telecom company NTT Communications Corporation has been awarded the new telecom license by the Myanmar government in August 2015. The company now provides landlines to the households and offices across the country. Sakuratar is a 20-story building in Yangon, the biggest city in Myanmar, which has offices of over 100 multinational companies. いうものを求めになってまして、我々の方で、え、と、故障がまなるべく少なく安定して、かつ混雑しないインターネット、航空表をいただいておりますと。またですね、インターネットをこう申し込みから開通までですね、だいたい平均3日間ということで、ま、非